Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a Bible journaling entry using the Jesus is My Jam stamp set from Sunshine Stamp Co. I've had this one in my collection for a little bit and hadn't used it yet, so I thought I'd pull it out and use it for today. And so I'm going to be doing some stamping and some ink smushing, really simple entry. And uh, this little set here has a couple of stamps. This says, this is my story, this is my song, um, which is from the Blessed Assurance Hymn. So I did a little bit of reading up on that hymn and found a Bible verse that kind of went along with it. And so I am working in uh, Psalm chapter 35, verse 26. It says, Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. And so I just wanted to do a little simple journaling entry in here. So I've gone ahead and attached those two stamps onto my block and I'm stamping with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. This ink does bleed through my Bible page. My Bible page is not prepped. Um, I just deal with bleed through by covering it up with some white acrylic paint or something like that. So I don't get too concerned about bleed through. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. And then now I've pulled the little cassette tape from the stamp set, so stinking cute. There's so many cute little elements in here. This is designed by Ashley. She's Mag Mag and Me on social media, um, and she works with our team here on uh, Sunshine Stamp Co. So so cute are her designs. So you can see I pulled out a piece of cardstock, and I'm using that to just kind of mask off the text. I didn't want to cover the text with the stamping, just just for I mean design elements I guess I was afraid with too much stamping on there I wouldn't be able to read um, the lettering and I kind of looked liked the look of this entry being all um, uniform within that margin so I'm just turning that stamp and filling in the top two-thirds of the margin and then now I'm going to take the little musical note pieces that are in that stamp set and just fill in some of the smaller areas in between the little cassette tapes. So it's almost like a custom pattern paper that's gonna be um, at the top here. And then at the bottom, I will do uh, just a simple uh, prayer journaling down at the bottom there. So adding all of those in. And now to do the ink smushing, I'm going to mask off that line with some washi tape. And I forgot, but I'm going to take it and stick it onto my pants and then stick it onto my Bible page so it's not quite as sticky. And that's just going to help it so all of the paint stays in that margin as well. So I'm working with my uh, Prima watercolors. This is a set that I put together myself with three different Prima watercolor sets. I have a video on my channel showing how I put that together. And I've gone ahead and just pulled the plastic from the stamp set and put a little bit of watercolor onto that plastic and then off camera I gave it a little spritz with a water bottle to just get it a little bit uh, wetter so that the color wouldn't just stay in little dots it'll move a little bit better and then I'm keeping it in a very very small area on the plastic that way I can kind of smush it over each individual cassette tape so I'm wanting this really loose loose watercolor um, but blocking in the colors around each individual cassette tape if that makes sense as I add in some more colors here you'll kind of see what I mean I went ahead and dried that so that when I go in with the next color I'm not gonna have a huge giant mess as that plastic is picking up the color that's already down so I went in with kind of a purpley pink and I'm going in with this really bright blue I don't really use this color very much in my journaling so I try to do kind of out of the box this time, kind of different than what I typically do. I'm going to go in with this purple shade to do the last three there. And so you can see I just have this really loose watercolor. I was going for quick, guys. <laughs> I switched my camera, and um, this particular camera will only let me film for 20 minutes at a time. And if you know me, my videos unedited are a little over an hour so I was really trying to cut that down and it was kind of a good uh, test for just not spending as much time on intricate things and spending a little bit more time studying the word so it was, it was good. I'm going in with a white gel pen just to add some details to the cassette tapes. I felt like they got a little lost underneath the watercolor so I'm just uh, kind of highlighting some of the details to kind of bring them back up out of the background still kind of giving just this pattern paper effect there. 
I'll go ahead and take a smaller uh, water brush and fill in the word song. You could just leave that empty or you could fill it in with white gel pen, color it in with a black pen. There's a lot of different ways to uh, kind of have some fun with these open style uh, fonts here. I went ahead and did that and now I'm going to take that cassette tape stamp once again and just my scrap piece of cardstock and I'm going to create a custom tab. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that out, paint it in with my watercolors. I was sure to hit that with my heat tool first. I am stamping with that VersaFine which is an ink that takes a long time to dry. So I'll just go ahead and roughly color that in and then I can cut this out and create a tab out of it. Uh, super, super fun. Uh, my kids saw some uh, cassette tape washi tape this morning at their book fair and they were trying to explain to me what a cassette tape was and they had no idea. It was hilarious. <laughs> so, it's a super fun little learning experience this morning. Uh, so here is my finished page. You can see I added some cross washi and topped it off with some word fetty and that little cassette tape tab. And that is it for the entry today. Be sure to head on over to Sunshine Stamp Co. to check out the stamp sets they have available over there. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you were inspired. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.